I don't suppose the northerners will be arranged to espouse any entrant that doesn't originate from the north, either from APC or PDP. So there's higher probability these two giant parties may choose northern candidates for the 2023 presidential election. A question has been raised by a Nigeria on Twitter asking, what will happen if APC and PDP present Northerners as presidential candidates in 2023? Someone asked, what will happen if this is the situation in 2023? Many Nigerians react as some believe nothing would go down if APC and PDP decide to state entrance from the North. And some from the people who really uh, commented says, no consequences, nothing will happen if APC and PDP features or present Northern in 2023 general election. Someone said, okay, will you lead the charge? Just pray it doesn't happen. But it is not possible. APC will present candidates from the South. Why PDP will present from the North? PDP will win if it presents a credible candidate, but lose again if it presents Atiku because the hatred the North has for that man can never be erased. Hmm. Someone says, if the South does not sell out, the PDP should not win the win in Northern candidates. Someone says, my opinion, if the PDP kick their presidential or pick their presidential candidates from the North, APC should do likewise. PDP is supposed to pick their presidential candidate from Igbo extraction in 2023, but if they decide to. Someone says, true, if PDP presents even a Cameroonian or Togolese, the Southeast will support PDP with their chest. They cry for separation. We only resume after PDP have lost the election. Some say we expect the APC to be reasonable. However, PDP is a lost cause. Article, article gets their tickets. It will likely happen in future if both parties, especially ruling, ruling party, zone their presidential candidates to only North. The accusation of separation will actually surface and it will not only sound in the mouth of Biafra but also Yoruba, the Southwest, because of cheating. So, guys, uh, you know, this is a, a brilliant question. Well, in my opinion, do you think people really have say or people are really determined? Do you think people are really uh, united to that extent that to say, oh, this is what we want? Like they always say, one man's meat is another man's poison. Someone can say, oh, this is what I want. At the end of the day, they will turn back and do something different. So it is very, very difficult because even Nigerians cannot be predicted. They cannot be predictable. Honestly, that is just the fact because some people will be going in this direction while some people will be going in this direction. And at the end of the day, they will everything, they will just uh, uh, scatter the whole thing. They will just mess up everything up. So, most of the things, even things that are happening in this in this dispensation that ordinarily people ought to have taken action. Taking action is said that to show their displeasure. There are many ways to show displeasure. It's not by being violent. But yet you see people not seeing anything. Like I said, most of the things that we couldn't even take, half of the things that we couldn't even take last uh, in the PDP era, we are taking double dose of those things now. And it's becoming normal. Those things are becoming normal as if nothing has happened. So it's very, very difficult for you to, for one to even predict what a... Nigerians can really do. Of course, in my opinion, nothing, nothing. Everybody will just talk and everybody will still go back home. Just like the case of a uh, uh, Rufai is you know when he was uh, celebrating his birthday, he said, "Oh, uh, one thing he did or he feared for it was you know picking Muslim Muslim tickets." And at the end of the day, people just shouted, "What happened? Nothing happened." They say, "Oh, it will make him to lose. It will make him to do this." But at the end of the day, what happened? People still talk and they still went back to do their. You know, so there are various businesses. So even if it happens, what will happen? But the issue is that it's, it, this this uh, kind of a uh, drama or game that these uh, people are presenting to us, these uh, leaders, is very, very, very bad and dangerous. Because nobody talk about competence. Nobody talks about how things can move forward. They always talk about uh, 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 ethnicity. They talk about what is not relevant. What things that are relevant that we are supposed that are supposed to make us move on as a nation. It's like we are just separated from the from the reality of the old world. We are separated. We are not even thinking in the line of moving forward to be advanced in a lot of things. We are not even talking and thinking about that. What we are thinking is who is going to get this? Who is going to get worse? Who is going to be president? Is the president going to come from the south, east, south, 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 southwest or the north or middle base? That is what we are thinking about. 
who are the people that will get this lot of appointment? That is what we are thinking about. We are just separated from the reality of the world. People are thinking of how to advance their country on how to, you know, technological uh, uh, stuff to be happening at, IP, uh, uh, at, the, at the peak. But what are we thinking? Nothing. Nothing. In fact, we celebrate abnormalities. That is what we are just looking at. Well, Nobody is even speaking of how this country can move forward. It's very, very unfortunate. We are talking of 2023. Even before 2019 election, people were already planning for 2023. And after the 2020, uh, 2019 elections, people were just carried away, not even thinking of what the government that has come in will do. Up to now, we are still talking of 2023. Other countries are talking about uh, 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 good de uh, development. But what are we talking about? We are celebrating poverty, celebrating insecurity, celebrating mediocrity, celebrating all manner of things that, you know, that, that brings backwardness. That is what we are celebrating. Children out of school, that is what we are celebrating. People who are begging, that is what we are celebrating. Quarry uh, 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 here and there, putting up drama here and there. That is what these guys are celebrating. If those ones, they get what they want to get, if they present at the end of the day, what are they bringing to the table? APC is there now. Let them prove themselves. Let them put themselves right. AP, APDP was there. What did they do? We cannot even see. Because as it is now, in, in all, whether right from 1914 or 1960 or you know, uh, 1999, up to today, what can we say or we can boast of that we have achieved? Nothing. We are still moving around circles. Up to now, we don't have electricity. These guys cannot even stand their ground. No, let us. Ah, ah, waba. Haba. It's very unfortunate that the so called uh, uh, leaders, those who say they are really enlightened or they are educated, they are not, they, are, they have turned themselves to tout. They cannot stand their ground that electricity mo must be something that we must get once and for all. Everything about uh, infra, uh, uh, infrastructural development, we must get once and for all. Health sector, we must get once and for all. Our educational system, we must get it once and for all. Nobody's talking about that. But they are talking about who is going to get this portfolio. That is all what we are talking about. It's very, very unfortunate. And people are buying it into all of these things. People are buying into all of this, which we not even... Honestly, I don't know what to say. Which will not take us anywhere. It won't take us anywhere. Someone said, I am a northerner, but this time, let the power shift to the south so that there will be peace, unity, justice among Nigerians. Someone said, Nigeria will crash. 2023 election will be boycotted. I can never vote any Muslim in Nigeria again. Let Nigeria break up fast. Someone said, the top candidates are Muslims. Someone said, hmm, 2023, article or error five. It will be interesting if PDP pick presidential candidates from South East, while APC pick presidential candidates from South West. Like I always ask, in all of these people that they have been picking, what have they brought to us? Why? Why are Nigerians themselves? Why are we like this? Whether you pick from here, you pick from here, is that what will make this country move forward? People are not even thinking of the development of this country, on how this country will move forward. They are not just talking about it. Just let my people be there. Let our people be there. And that's all they are satisfied. Once their people are there, they are satisfied so that you're going to be bowing to them. So that you'll be taking selfie with them. So that they will be making wrong policies for you. And you'll be happy because your person is there. And you are going to defend that your person even while making unfriendly, on, 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 on I don't even know. That's what the way I can put it. Policies. And you will still be there. Oh, you just drink water and you'll be satisfied because your person is there. He's the one in charge. What is your own gain? Someone that says, even if Shekau and ICC leader join PDP and contest Igbos and other fantastic ethno uh, religious, uh, we still support them. And someone says that uh, hmm, answer, the answer is if uh, PDP and APC present uh, in Northern in 2023, the person says the answer is completely chaos and anarchy. Someone says at the end, that is what will happen because party policy is all about winning election. If you ever think the Northern did not we ever vote for any southerner now you are lying why won't it be so because the southerners are the ones giving them the opportunity they are the ones giving them the opportunity that is that is the problem that is the problem we are having the selfish ones in the southern part of the country are the ones encouraging them because of their selfish interest but we know 
what is playing out now all of them that supported them see they are coming back with shame they are coming back with disgrace we can't even hear from them we can't even hear PM from them so guys let us hear your opinion concerning these questions leave your comment below and let's have your take thank you